everyone, I'm Carla and welcome to lesson two of Kids Art Week. I hope you had fun making your birds and um, today we're going to make butterflies and instead of just drawing on the paper we're going to make uh, folded butterflies that you can sort of play with or use as little sculptures um, on your windowsill or bookshelf. Um, they're very fun to make and they're also fun to play with. Uh, the supplies you'll need today are some thick paper. Um, I'm going to use the watercolor paper that we used yesterday for um, our birds, but you can also use some stiff kind of um, cardstock colored paper or anything that's thick, thicker than regular, you know, computer paper. You want it to be thick. Um, you'll also need um, a pair of scissors, a pencil, a ruler, a credit card or something to scrape with. You'll need your watercolors. You will also need a stapler. And then last but not least, you'll need a, uh, a paintbrush. This one happens to be a round one that comes to a point and they're nice to use, but really any paintbrush will work. Um, you also will need a paper towel. So the, um, Watercolor, the idea with the watercolor is we could, you could do an abstract design with your watercolor. Um, if you like, just coloring the paper with watercolor and then cutting it out and making the butterfly will be great. What we're going to do, what I'm going to show you is this technique, which is kind of a stripey, scraped butterfly. Um, so what you need to do is first get your watercolors out and just find some colors you like and grab some water and dip them in to the pools. What you're doing here is just kind of softening up the watercolor so that when you get to it, it'll be nice and soft. Um, you also want to get out your scraper. And I've already, I think I like this pink color. So here's how you do it. You just stick your, um, a couple of dots and you want a lot of water you want it to kind of beat up a little bit you take your credit card and scrape it down if you decide you want more pink you could do it again I'm going to switch colors. What's great about this is once when you scrape it, it almost dries immediately. So it's easy to layer colors on top of each other and, and because they're pretty much dry. That blue didn't really show up that well. Let's get a darker blue. And I'm going to do a few more colors here, but you can go as simple or as crazy as you want with your colors. You could even do bigger stripes like this. And please experiment. Get two or three pieces of paper, experiment with colors. You're going to like some of them better than others, and that's just how it goes. Um, you never really know how it's going to look until you try something, how colors are going to work together. I really liked that orange. I'm going to put on a, just a tad more. And then I think I will call this one ready to, to dry. Actually, before I do that, I'm noticing there's a lot of white down here because it was thicker up here when I started the paint and then it, once it comes down, it gets a little thinner. So I'm just gonna turn my paper around. This is an optional step if you feel like you need to. And um, I'm just gonna start a couple on top here to fill in some of those white spaces a little bit. One more. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to dry. And it's already mostly dry, so it's really great. Um, but what we're gonna do now, while this is getting completely dry, is make what we call a template. Um, this is a, a pattern, basically, made with the same thick paper that I use to make all of these butterflies. So with this project, once you make your template, and I'll have you make your own template, um, your own butterfly design, um, then you can make as many as you want in the same sort of family. Um, so the way to do it is to get your pencil and draw half a butterfly. Now, if you want, you can make a tiny little one that's about maybe like the size of this credit card is probably the smallest you want to go, or you can go bigger. Um, I'm going to just draw what I think would be a nice shape here for a butterfly. And um, then what I'm going to do is take my ruler and make a line on the two points. So now I have a straight line. And then I'm going to take my ruler and move it about a half inch from this line to there. And it's going to be even here. And I'm just going to draw a little bit longer line. So it's kind of like that. And then I'm going to draw two curved lines right here. Dunk, dunk. So this is my template. So I just need to cut that out now. And when I'm done cutting it out, I'll be ready to apply it to my um, colored paper. Now, it's um, not important that you stay exactly on your lines. It's fine if you don't. The main thing is that you just kind of like the shape that you, that you make. And if you get it all done, I'm thinking I'm going to make this a little bigger than what I drew. So you can still draw with your scissors at this point. Okay. So here is my shape. Now I'm going to put an A on one side and a B on the other. And the reason for that is when we make our butterfly, we need to have it um, the, on an A side and a B side. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm going to put my butterfly here and I can have, have it so that it goes, um, di the, um, the lines are going to end up diagonally on the um, butterfly, or I can put it straight so that the lines go straight up and down or I can go the opposite way and have them come straight across like we did on this one, pretty much. So it's really up to you. Um, I think I'll try the angled one. And here is my A side. I'm gonna use this and just trace around my template or my pattern. Okay, so that's A. Then I have to do a B side, so I'm going to flip it over. And if I want, I can just go ahead and go right up to that edge. But I think I'll just give myself a little bit more room. Maybe I like this color blue down here, so I'm going to make sure that it has that. And now I'm going to do my B side. If you want to get ideas of what butterfly, real butterfly wings look like, that's a great thing to do too, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's fun to have kind of an imaginary butterfly. So I like to cut out um, kind of a big, cut it out like this first so that I'm not work, working with the whole paper all at once. And then I'm just gonna cut. Younger kids might want to ask a parent or a friend to help. Older kids, if your cutting feels like it's a little jaggedy, please don't worry about it. That's actually a really cool thing. It makes the butterfly very, um, sort of have a lot of personality.
Okay. And now this one I want to keep as straight as I can. So I try to do it, if I can, in one, one cut. So there's one side. Once again, I'm just going to cut off the extra here and cut my second butterfly wing. I got a little pencil on there, so I'm just going to erase that. Okay, so now this part seems like it might not be important, but I've tried it a couple of times without it, and I've found that it's a very important part. And that is, you just need to turn one of these over and get your ruler and line it up right on the areas that come in and draw a line. And you only have to do it on one. But what you're doing is you're giving yourself a line to staple with, because we're going to staple these two together, put them together, painted sides together, and make sure that they're pretty, pretty even. If they're um, not quite even on the wings, that is no problem. You just want to make sure they're pretty even um, right at these little points. And then I'm going to use my stapler and use my, li my line to help guide me. And you'll need three staples, probably. If you have a bigger butterfly, you'll need four or five. And if you have a smaller one, you might need two. And now you just need to open this part and fold it back. And then turn it around and fold this one back. And then fold it down like that. And you have a beautiful <laughs> butterfly. So I cannot wait to see what you do, your beautiful shapes and colors. Uh, please post them online if you can. And I, again, I can't wait to see them and we'll have fun. We'll see you next time.